All right, giving this another try um, before I completely lose my voice, but this is uh, uh, Raspberry Pi 4, Dragon OS Pi 64. It's just flashed uh, fresh on it. I'm just remotely <clears throat> connected, and the Caribou light is uh, installed sitting on top of it. I'm going to grab the source code, and we'll go through this again. While, let me think, while that's doing that, let's take a look at the develop R1 branch. Look at the install script. And just so I don't forget, I'm going to come down here. And I'm looking where it's changing some stuff with the configuration file. But on Dragon OS, uh, which is really Arch 64. It's in the boot firmware. There's a config text file. And we want to we want to comment out. SPI on. Comment out. Uh, I to C arm, and what do we need to add? So we'll see. Is that already in here? Alright, so we'll <coughs> enable this last one. I didn't have to put any of the SMI stuff in here. Let's comment this out. I can see this is done. We'll check real quick. So there is no SMI right now, but with those changes, let me do a. Um, reboot here. Alright, so it's rebooted with just those changes I, sh I showed a second ago. And so now we have the SMI there. And We'll try with the develop branch, but I think I've had a problem with that. There's an install script in there. Um, can pretty much leave everything uh, soapy. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, I'm going to comment out shift uh, pound sign because we don't want the Raspberry Pi kernels. We've already we got kernels, we're not using Raspberry Pi OS. Um, let's see. And then of course this configuration file area is not gonna find what it's looking for. I mean you could come up here if you want. <clears throat> uh, but we already we already did it. This is more if there was a fork uh, specific to this. This is what I would maybe do. I mean, there is a boot config text on the Arch 64, but okay. And so we'll see if this. Actually, you know what? No, let me fix one thing. We'll just take the Raspberry Pi kernels off, delete that. OK. 
guess we could do update so we'll try and run this script uh, but where I saw it fail let me see those okay so um, one thing I saw here let me let me kill this for a second um, like this was already compiled and not taken away so move uh, software utils see make cache because we want to make this fresh shouldn't be there it's great this is on bad if you're in a So, so it did build the binary because I wiped that out so it rebuilt for here but let's see so files have been written so it built the KO file but down in here if this completes this time it'll be great but Yeah, so the ZMQ stuff, I don't know what's up. Doesn't build there. The so what you can do is let me think. Oh, um. somewhere else real quick but
All right. Let's see. So now I'm just going to use the, the main branch. I know it's older, but... So we got to get a submodule init and get sub sub uh, module update. Okay, go into the build directory, CMake. We'll do uh, make. Uh, try and use all the cores here. And unfortunately, I forgot one thing here. Um, I had to edit this particular file here. Let's see, control W, look for 34. My modem was actually 35. I know this is probably addressed in the develop R1 branch, but I changed that to 35. Control O to save, Control X to exit. <coughs> Redo this again real quick. Okay, so to make install, sudo ld config. Now at this point, soap sdr utility dash dash find should work. Uh, don't worry about the sdr play, play service. I see. Uh, let me see. Let's go source IR. We'll do sudo make install. Now, obviously, if the other caribou light thing built this would all be um, taken care of well at least I think so let's do ld config so be let's see so Okay, so it's there. Let me see. Okay, so sudo. <coughs> Got to use sudo. And then it can access that SMI. 
Okay, so we're good there. Let me think. So now, <clears throat> if I go server dash dash bind, and you got to use sudo because the udev rules aren't working yet, but so sudo, so I'm serving up the caribou light. Now let me jump over to uh, a desktop build of Dragon OS. I'll go other. I'll go, um, no, sorry, ham radio. Uh, oh, yeah, Sig Digger. Okay. We can see over here on this screen that Sig Digger is looking at Soapy on the network. If I say local, we should see those the caribou light. <laughs> Let me unclick override. We'll go for May's bandwidth. Try that. Okay, four, four, four. Change your frequency because I've noticed that if I change the frequency, it'll lock it up. But I should be able to connect. And so I see over here where it's connected. I can mess with the gain. And I can. Modulate. But if I change this frequency, things will lock up. So I'm at least using the uh, Caribou Light here in Sig Digger. Uh, I think it may work also in GQRX if I remember. The SDR play fail thing, that's only because the um, library is not installed. You can find that uh, in the directions where in the, or on the Pi side, sorry. So, uh, huh. This is Edis Soapy seeing it. Let's see. Let's see what happens here. Uh, all right, well, uh, Sig Digger worked, and then you'll see there's some issues I'm running into here. Uh, yeah, so that's how that's how far I've made it there.